Hello Boise State, I'm Jared Lewis and this is your Arbiter Minute for the week of January 27th, 2016. Local legislators discussed Governor Butch Otter's tuition lock proposal that would guarantee students the same tuition for four years. Boise State President Bob Custer addressed the legislature's Joint Finance Appropriations Committee on Monday. We think it's a very good way of stabilizing the cost of higher education, which in recent years has skyrocketed in some cases. Custer said, however, ASBSU Secretary of External Affairs Emily Larson has her doubts about the program. Larson said she is concerned students may pay more in the long run. Spring 2016 has brought new workshops to the library. Now there is a special workspace for students to explore these emerging technologies. The Marker Lab, which houses a 3D printer, a green screen, and an Apple TV. Librarian Amy Vecchione explained the Marker Lab is intended to be a comfortable space for innovation and learning, and the library is open to student suggestions about improving current workshops or starting new ones. In addition to new workshops, the library also has a sound booth equipped with a computer and the necessary software to do voiceovers for video, podcast recording, or any other sound or music recording a student might want to do. The words Boise State immediately rings football for most Americans and attendance for men's basketball games has reflected that over the past five years. So far in the 2015 to 2016 season, the average attendance for men's basketball games have been 6,091 people per game in an arena that can hold 12,380 people. Those numbers do not mirror a team who has played in the NCAA tournament two of the last three years and includes players such as possible NBA draft pick James Webb III and Anthony Drimmick, who could break the school's all-time scoring record. Factors that affect these numbers range from marketing to school interest in these different sports. That has been your Weekly Arbiter Minute, and thank you for watching. For more information on these and other stories, visit us on the web at arbiteronline.com.